Hello, Beamer Nomi is back, and you're watching another pro video using the Portal Fruit. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actors slam on their yes. dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, so I've been reading comments on my previous video. Everyone wants me to make a noob to pro using the portal fruit don't worry guys i got you so guys here it is noob to pro with the portal fruit okay so first off you should know that it has an m1 or left click but guys it has no damage it will only give you a dash maybe equivalent to soru i'm gonna show it to you there you go guys not bad for an m1 don't worry guys we have the z skill the portal dash but guys check this out it is multi-target, yes. It has an even damage and only one mob will get most of it. So guys, it is not good for grinding, sorry to say. But if you're talking about effects, guys, this skill really looks good, okay? <laughs> at least there's something good, right? There you go. So guys, at level 15, we will now head to the Fountain City. Okay. Gamer Nom, why are we here in the final island? Guys, we're gonna beat the Galley Pirate. Technique here is wall strat and you're gonna use your combat to damage it initially, okay? You're gonna last hit him using your portal dash. There you go, guys. Most likely you will die. So what should you do? Guys, just go back, okay? There you go. See that? We're just gonna go back and then use your Z skill again. Okay, you will still level up. Don't worry. Also good news, you will unlock your X skill the parallel escape so guys once you unlock that skill again the x skill you won't be dying much there you go okay guys check that out check that portal it really looks good again shout out to the developers thank you for making this game better okay so target level here is level 55 there you go i'm gonna show you the stats first melee 30 defense 15 blast force 120 next village is the pirate village Target here is Bobby the Clown. Guys, you now have two skills to damage your enemy. We'll show it to you. Z skill and another X skill. Additional uh, 160 damage, I guess. There you go. Cooldown is short for the skills. So guys, you can spam it to defeat Bobby easily, okay? And by the way, guys, check this out. I was able to experience PvP at the Pirate Village. This flame user, I think, tried to attack me. There you go. Z skill. And another X skill. Check that out, guys. I think we got lucky. <laughs> oh, and by the way, since our fruit is not good for multiple enemies, I focused on boss fights. So, guys, I decided to do server up here until I reached 105. Okay, 105 for the stats. Here you go. Melee 35, defense 40, blocks fruits 240. Next stop, the frozen village. So guys, at the back again is the North Pole. Just saying. <laughs> now head to the cave. Make sure to buy the air jump, aura, and the flashy step. You need 135,000 bellies to buy all of those, okay? Okay, so moving on to the Yeti. Again, if you haven't noticed, we skipped lots of mobs. We skipped the island desert, right? Sad to say, but this is the fastest way to grind this fruit, okay? So again, we're gonna server hop until you reach level 130. And after that, we will now head to the Marine Fortress. So guys, don't forget to buy the Black Cape located again in this tower. There you go. You can buy it for 50,000 bellies. So off to the Vice Admiral. So same strategy with the Yeti and Bobby the Clown. Don't worry guys, just be patient. Because while grinding here, you will unlock your F skill. The Quantum Leap. Guys, this one is really good. Check this out. You will summon two portals. Every time your enemy passes through it, guys, he will get damaged, okay? Our target level here in the Marine Fortress is level 220. Okay, so there you go. Stat check. Melee defense, 60. Blocks fruits, 537. Next stop is the prison. When I reach prison, someone is already killing the warden and that is our target. So guys, I decided to help him, but instead he tried to attack me. Okay, so he killed me. Now, guys, I tried to fight back. Because I think using portal fruit when doing PvP, you're like a ninja, right? Someone will tell you that you're a runner, but let's try it, guys. There you go. There he is. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> He's trying to attack us. Boom. <laughs> anyway, guys, back to grinding. Warden is our target. There you go. Let's check this out. We're gonna use the F skill. There you go, guys. This mob has no long range attack, which means we can take advantage of it. He will just keep passing by the portal, and there you go. Easy kill. Next up, the Chief Warden, guys. Same strategy. This mobs, yes, even bosses won't adjust and will keep on walking towards those portals. Okay, next up this one. Is it possible to do it? Yes, it is still possible, but you need to dodge to the side in order to dodge his long range attack. Okay? Okay, I hope everything's clear. There you go. Guys, we're gonna keep doing server up here until you reach level 350. Okay, okay, we're almost there. Next up, guys, we're gonna do a power up. We're heading to the North Pole. There you go, because we've gathered, I think, 600 candies in order to buy the Santa Hat. This is good for fruit users and new players. Now, guys, at 350, next up, Magma Village. Target is the Magma Admiral. Let me remind you that this boss has a long range attack and has really high damage. So, you really wanna dodge that attack, and you can do it by sidestepping. See that, guys? Once you get used to it, everything will be fine. Grinding this mob will be really easy. Okay, so our target level here, guys, can you guess? Yes, it is 425. There you go, and once you reach that level, next stop is the underwater city. Target is the Fishman Lord. So guys, uh, if you want to use the F strategy, there you go. Guys, the skill of this dude is really fast, so I don't suggest it. Just keep on using it. All your other skills the ZX skill and everything will be fine okay so kind of change our strat here but if you want guys you can do it okay just make sure to dodge faster there you go oh by the way guys have you experienced getting glitch check this out I glitched under the territory of the fishman lord and I really don't know how to get out even with the F skill or X skill it's not possible so guys as you can see I am dying here I accidentally killed someone who's grinding, so I just restarted and killed the Fishman Lord. <laughs> anyway, guys, at 500, we're gonna leave this area. Stat check. Melee 175, same with defense. Blocks fruits 1150. Next up, the Skylands. And our target is the Whisper only. Why Gamer Gnome? Guys, because uh, he's easy to defeat compared to the other boss, which is Thunder God, and he's near the quest giver. And as we all know, we're just going to do server hop on the first T. Mostly server hop, right? Anyways, I'm showing you a full fight. As you can see, our F skill strategy is still effective. But guys, make sure to dodge sideways. You can see if he's gonna use his bazooka. I'm gonna show it to you guys. There you go. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, did you see that? You can see him reveal his gun or bazooka. There you go. And just dodge, okay? One more time. Okay, he's about to do it. And once he does that, dodge to the side, okay? So, I think it's not that easy to do, but once you get used to it, guys, everything will be fine. Your ZX and F skill is enough to defeat this boss. Okay, so let's defeat this one. Okay. One more skill. Dash, and boom. There you go, guys. So again, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 625. Don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey. I think it will cost you 750,000 bellies. There you go. And guys, we will unlock the C skill, the world map. With this skill, you can teleport to any island with just one click. Okay, so our target island is the Fountain City. So here, our only target is the Gali Pirates. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. The power of the F skill, I call this the quantum leap loop. <laughs> okay guys, so just one skill is enough to defeat them again. There you go. Okay guys, again we're gonna skip all the other mobs here. We're gonna focus on the galley pirates because they're easy to defeat. So guys, we're gonna reach level 700 here, but sadly, the last skill was not yet unlocked. But don't worry, I have a bonus I will be showing to you using my main account. So guys, let's go. Again, the last skill is called Dimensional Rift. Guys, you can only attack players with it. There is minimal damage, but you will be teleporting them in a dimension. Gamer can they escape? Yes, they can escape. 
you just need to head to this portal wait i'm gonna show it to you okay here it is there's the portal there you go okay that's an escape okay guys if you cast the dimensional rift again while you're inside the dimension you will be teleported outside okay so that's it initial damage i think this one is really good for uh, pvp so that's it i hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out